All right, welcome to another segment of On Any Weekend. We're having our banquet tonight at the American Legion Hall in Blue Springs, Missouri. We've got a couple of hundred of our teams and fans are going to be here, and uh, we'll be interviewing a few of them and handing out some trophies and gift certificates and playing some games. So uh, stay tuned to check out what we're going to do at our banquet for this year. Good evening, we're here at the Valley Speedway Awards Banquet. Uh, I've got Scotty Martin with Martin Racing. Scotty, thanks for coming tonight. Um, a couple of quick questions for you. Uh, anything in the off season that you're uh, preparing for 2015? Oh yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, getting my B-Mod totally done. Maybe do some racing with it. I don't know totally yet on it, but uh, getting Chris's car finished up, ready to go, so we can go out to uh, the Mavericks. Uh, they're going to have the Mavericks game here next week or so. Right. Um, trying to get a brand new A-Mod done. I never get time to work on it. So. Okay, so we got a couple of cars to look for in 2015. Um, anything that we can uh, share with them about 2015 that, to get the fans pumped up and excited about for this year? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Man, right. man, I don't know. I just... Uh, Maybe about uh, 2018 we got some stuff ready. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> Maybe by then I have my dude in there racing, so it'll be cool. That, very cool, very cool. Well, I appreciate you spending some time with us. Yeah. And uh... I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. Uh, this has been a real treat for us every year to put on, uh, to have all of our fans and the teams here promoting Valley Speedway. We appreciate you guys supporting the track. Uh, we're looking to make things bigger and better this year, and uh, you guys are the ones that have made it possible. So I appreciate all of you coming. Hope uh, everybody got everything they needed to eat. We've got a few more things back there if you're still hungry. So if anybody goes home hungry tonight, it's your fault. <laughs> we're ready to get started, so here we go. Finishing third this year in the Dirt Demon Division, Jessica Lane in the number one J. Congratulations. Our second place finisher in the Dirt Demon division this year, the number four car, Jim Witt. Jim is also the recipient of the Lincoln Welders Contingency Connection Prize. Jim will be receiving a uh, certificate worth $500 with Lincoln Welders, part of our Contingency Connection uh, Prizes this year. And our first place finisher in the Dirt Demon Division this year, the uh, number 25 car, you might have seen him once or twice, Joe Jester Jr. <laughs> Joe will also be the recipient of a contingency connection prize from Painless Performance Products. Painless has supplied a certificate uh, this year worth a $100 value. <laughs> And here he is, he's not even waiting. Larry Wallace, your number 53. Larry also is the recipient of the Contingency Connection Prize from State.
stage eight, Larry will receive uh, a prize package uh, that has apparel and gift certificates and a trophy plaque worth $250 from stage eight. Larry also receiving a watch from Jocelyn's Jewelry. Your third place finisher uh, is Michael Rafferty, number 41. And your second place finisher, the number 64, David Rafferty. And our first place finisher this year on the Midwest Mod Lights, Dylan Rafferty. <laughs> Dylan will also be the recipient of our Contingency Connection Prize. This year it is from J.E. Pistons. Dylan will be receiving a prize package uh, worth $250 for all the products. In third place this year, Jeremy Price in the 11th <laughs> Jeremy is also going to be awarded from our Contingency Connection from Scorpion Racing Products. He'll be receiving a certificate for Scorpion Products, uh, some team apparel, a prize package for $200. Congratulations. Your second place finisher in the B Modifies this year, Sean Burns, the number one. Yeah. Sean will also be receiving a uh, contingency connection prize from a cell nation. It is product apparel and other awards value of two hundred dollars from a cell. And your first place finisher in the USRA Zard Barbecue Blaze and Be Modified Edition this year, the number 99 car, Brad Snook. <laughs> Brad will be receiving a contingency connection prize from Aeromotive Vantum Fuel Systems. It is a certificate and apparel and decal package worth $250 value from Aeromotive. <laughs> Brad will also be receiving a lot from Jocelyn's jewelry being presented by Gary Jocelyn this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, with me is uh, Jeff Rafferty and Justin Rafferty. Guys, congratulations on a good 2014 racing season. Um, what were some of the highlights from 2014 for you guys? Definitely not flipping this year was a big one. Uh, that was great. Yeah, it was it was neat for us to both be in the top five in points. Justin with fifth place finish, and me with the fourth place finish in the points. So those are definitely highlights for 2014, and something to grow on in 2015. Okay. Um, with the Mod Light division, um, you guys have really I've seen it kind of explode over the last couple of years. The division keeps getting bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger. Um, anything that you can contribute to that. Well, a lot of it is, is how cheap the racing is. You know, we, for, we turn the exact same lap times as an A modified, and we do it for pennies on the dollar compared to them. You know, we burn two gallons of gas of premium lead at a night, so we spend five or six dollars in fuel a night. We're a big car, easily spend a hundred dollars a night in fuel. Um, tires last us all season long. You know, we might burn a right rear off in 15 or 20 races, where a lot of the big cars are changing tires every week or every other week. So, you know, the maintenance of the cars is easy to do. You can do it in a small garage. You have your wife back her car out of the garage, put your car in, in where hers was, you know, so that could cause problems later on, but still, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> right. it's, it's, it's nice. It's
it's easy. You don't have to have a big hauler or a big toter. You can pull it in a small garden tractor trailer behind a, an S10 pickup or a Ford Bronco or you know something like that. So right. it, it's just the ease and maintenance and the ease and the cost of these cars and, and it's a good group to work for, a good group to race with. You know, it, it, we're, we're helping each other. You know, every night something happens, you know, we're helping a fellow competitor that may outrun us you know, later on in the future. So, you know, it's just a good camaraderie with all of us together. Well, to get kind of the fans excited for 2015, what kind of projects do you guys have working on in the uh, off season now? Uh, we're currently doing a motor change in my car. Getting really excited for that. Hopefully, a little more horsepower can do a little bit better this year. Um, thinking about doing a body change. I'm sure on that. Just yeah. Gotta find some free time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Justin, what is it that uh, keeps you coming out and uh, racing with Dad every weekend? Is there how long you been in it? Well, let's see, this will be my fifth year, I believe. Yep, fifth year fifth racing year. and your 17th year of coming to the racetrack. Yep. That's how old you yep. are. So it's you started with it 17 years ago. It, your mom brought you, and then you came with you after that, you know, every week after that. So. It's, it's mostly the fun in it. You know, I like to go fast. I've always liked to go fast. I like I can go fast with my dad. It's just I like the tight competitive racing. It's just something to do on the weekends to get me out of work. And what, what I like about it is I know where my son's at every Friday and Saturday night. If he's not at the racetrack racing with us, then we're in the off-season, we're building motors, we're building bodies, you know, we're talking about uh, different strategies to outrun his cousin, to outrun my brother, you know, to, to, to get to, to the number one spot versus the number two, number three, number four, number five spot. So, you know, but the big thing is, is that, you know, I know where Justin's at. Um, he doesn't have any money to spend to do anything bad to spend on a race car, you know, but, you know, truly it, it's, a, it's a family thing. You know, his, his older sister comes all the time times the race is one of his biggest fans and and I, I know where my kids are every every weekend because if they're not with me they're out in the garage working on the race car so you know that, that that's been tight for us it's been really good for us over the years you guys thanks for spending your time with us good luck in 2015 and we'll see you out at the valley speedway thank thanks you valley speedway for having us appreciate it thank you yeah. well our banquet's winding down and we've got one of our good friends gary joslin if you ever need any jewelry or anything clean fixed gary's the guy to do it you know he's a long time race fan and a race promoter and what do you think gary the you know, the banquet went well real well and all the champions got a brand new watch from joslin's jewelry and that's one thing we do have out there. also next week we got the mavericks oh, yeah. and gary's cool. going to give every kid that comes to the mavericks game next week a checkered flag that's so, right Gary from Joslin Jewelers. The kids come out next week to Mavericks game. You're going to get yep. a free checkered flag. So. Yep. I sponsored that last year. <laughs> That's September, but I'm involved. I'm glad to be with you. Thank you, Gary. We appreciate yeah. you coming out and support. Valley Speedway, get on out. These guys are great. You'll have a good time. Bring your family. It's a real nice town. It's place. There's not a lot of drunks running around out here. We're all having a good time. And it's honest, clean, fun. And it's not that loud. <laughs> Thank you. you Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Just thought that <laughs> so. All right, we've got Sean Burns here, a longtime track promoter of Valley Speedway and uh, supports the track and does our prayer in the driver's meetings and stuff. And he's just a great guy, supports racing, and he's got a lot of neat things going on this year uh, with some of the kids. Does a lot of kids' programs. So kind of tell us what you got going on, Sean. Well, this year we're going to do, we're going to do the uh, mud plug again this year every four weeks. Uh, all the kids come down and sign the mud plug after the races. Every four weeks we give it out during intermission uh, to the loudest kid that screams. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, it was a freak idea that we had when we were doing a, a deal at High V and had all the kids that came into the High V and uh, signed it for us. So. Uh, with the Valley and Zarda Barbecue deal. I see a lot of them kids on Facebook. Uh, whenever you put a post on there, you got some followers on Facebook. Oh, yeah, no, they're, we're up to almost 1,200. It's, wow. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, but we have a lot of fun with it. And, uh, we, you know, we adopted our super fan last year, and she got on the car. Um, she was actually here at the awards banquet tonight. Uh, they surprised me with her. Oh, cool. Uh, so, yeah, that it's so cool. much fun. Uh, but uh, but we're ready. Uh, we go into uh, the Mavericks game next week, uh, yeah, and, we're, and, we're, and we're really getting quite a following after the races. I can remember when we just have a, you know the people that knew us come down, and it's really getting to be exciting now with all the kids and, that are yeah. coming down. Uh, I have hero cards that are be, will be in my hands on Tuesday for all the kids. Perfect. Uh, so I mean it's getting exciting. So we're we're happy. Uh, and happy to be back at the house. So we're excited for that. John. Thank you. We appreciate all your support and what you do for the teams, the fans. Yeah. It's a great pleasure. It's my honor. Thank my you. Honor. All right. Thank you, guys.